Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to design and laser cut this Assassin's Creed inspired Alexa enabled lamp for your game room. Hi, welcome to Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And my project for today is this lamp. Now a couple of months ago, I bought a Philips Hue starter kit from Amazon for $70. It had two light bulbs in it and a small hub that could run up to 50 light bulbs. So I wanted a project that could use that and I came up with this lamp. Now I have two tall display cases in the back of my game room. So these are designed to go on top of those and provide ambient lighting while I'm playing. I bought these um, pendant light kits from Amazon for $18 and this was designed in Adobe Illustrator and cut on a laser cutter. Right now I'm really enjoying playing Assassin's Creed Origins and I, I really like the Egyptian theme so that's what I used here. I have an Egyptian inspired overall design. I have the Assassin's Creed logo, uh, Origins logo in the front. And I am using these Philip Hughes bulbs. Alexa, turn the Assassin's Creed lamp off. Okay. Alexa, turn the Assassin's Creed lamp on. Okay. Alexa, dim the Assassin's Creed lamp to 50%. Okay. So see, in this way, I can get control of my lighting while I'm playing my games without getting up and putting down my controller. So I'm going to talk about how I designed this and laser cut it in this episode. I always start my drawings with references and this is the size of the lamp base and that's the height of that section and the cord diameter because I'm using those to size the holder. I'm going to cut the Origins logo out of walnut plywood this is what a side looks like. It has the Egyptian design and it has a half circle cut in the bottom. You'll see how I use that in a second. Here's a top-down view of the side. I'm going to use that to lay out the base. And once I saw from the software how long it was going to take to cut my original design, I simplified it to basically a quarter of the original design. This is the top and the bottom of the acrylic bulb holder. I have half inch acrylic dowel that will hold these two together. And this is the base. I did it by laying out four of the top down views of the sides and arranging them with butt joints and then drawing the base larger around it. Each one of these corners are going to be reinforced with these quarter inch slats that I'll glue into the corners to make them stronger. The acrylic holder will sit inside of this wooden frame in the middle of the base. I engrave this square to show me where to glue it. My lamps are going to be sitting above eye level so they don't need a top but I also created this optional panel to put on top or you could do a one that looked just like the sides. The front of the lamp is going to have that logo glued to it and I wanted to have a solid surface for it to glue to so I used the Pathfinder to cut out part of the design and engraved where the logo should be glued. Unfortunately this is the last project I cut at Tech Shop because it closed and now I need to find access to a new laser cutter. On this laser cutter uh, sending a drawing is as easy as printing and selecting the material and it does everything else. I'll have to go through a lot more effort than that on the new laser cutter that I'm going to be using. Here the laser cutter is cutting one of the regular shade sides. This is quarter inch plywood and it's taken about a half hour to do each one of these sides. I plan on just letting the light shine through but you could always back these with parchment paper, rice paper, or frosted acrylic to get a more diffused effect. Here it is cutting the front and you can see the solid portion that the uh, logo is going to glue to. Let's take a quick look at the lighting components. This is the Philips Hughes kit. This is the hub. You plug it into your router or your home network. And these are the bulbs. There are 60 watt equivalents. The pendant lamp kit, I've made the holder so that the cord slides through and then it's going to rest on the ring that's there to really hold the shade on the pendant lamp. And that keeps it from sliding through. And this is what it looks like lit and of course it's never heats up because it's LED. 
Now for the assembly of the laser cut components. This is the base and I've engraved all the placement lines on it so I know where to put things. Uh, this is the square that I'm going to glue this little frame inside so I go ahead and get that glued and I use as always the four inch granite samples to weigh things down. Then I glue in place the walnut logo and see it's much easier to do if you've got a solid place to glue it to. Set that aside to dry. I get out my well down fusing liquid and I drop it into the four corners and I put my half inch dowel on and I'm really liberal with my fusing liquid because this needs to be strong. Set that aside to dry and now I do the first two sides. I use my granite samples to help get right angles and also to help hold things in place. Wood glue takes longer to dry than the fusing liquid. It's really quick. I can go ahead and put fusing liquid on the top of these four pillars and put the top of the bulb holder on and set that aside. The third side, I'm going to put the strip down first this time and then put the side in and also put a granite block. And I set the front on the top because this way I know that the sides are square and will dry properly. These strips are very important for the strength of the frame. When the glue's dried, I then actually glue on the front and weight it down. On the front and the sides, I glue the half circles to the base. I leave the back open so the cord can go through. And I see that the heavy cord is causing my bulb to lift up out of the holder. The kit had this little device in it, and I think that that's going to work really well to hold the cord down in place, so I super glue that in this location. The little half circles work perfectly to register the placement of the shade and to hold it in place on the lamp. I'm just putting a light mineral oil finish on the wood, but of course it could be painted uh, if that's what you would prefer. The last step is to set up the Alexa integration, and that's pretty easy using the Philips Hughes app and the Alexa app. I put both bulbs into a group that I named Assassin's Creed, and that's how I can turn it on and off. As I said, one hub can run up to 50 bulbs. An additional bulb costs about $12, and they last 50,000 hours or something, so it's really a pretty economical solution. I have lots of other projects I'm working on for gaming and gamers, so if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel.